Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with Learn Cybersecurity. Today I'm talking about the importance of the CCNA to my path in cybersecurity. I just picked up a course from David Bomble uh, just last week on the CCNA, and it's something that I think is very important to the path that I'm looking to take in getting into the cybersecurity field. Now, I've kind of talked before about you know the things that I'm looking to do and where I'm really most interested in being in a cybersecurity role. And some of the things that I need to do beforehand uh, require me learning a lot of different things. So <laughs> one of those is learning networking, really having a good understanding of how networking works. Now, keep in mind that not all security roles require you have an understanding of how networking works. A lot of security roles will kind of have you wanting to know an understanding of how networking works, for instance. So for me, like if I wanted to be an ethical hacker or pen tester, those roles specifically, you're gonna to wanna to have a good understanding of how networking works. Now, I'm not saying that I wanna be an ethical hacker or I wanna be a pen tester, but I do want to train people on how to do some of these things. I wanna train people how to defend some of these things. So I need to have an understanding of how these things work. So for me, starting off with the, the Security Plus is the, another certification that I'm working on and getting the CCNA, um, those are two really important certifications to my path, but most specifically the CCNA and understanding networking is really crucial to my path into cybersecurity. Because ultimately I wanna help people like that's, that's my goal in life, that's my mission, is to help people. So I want to have as much knowledge and understanding in you know many of the areas in cybersecurity as I can. Now, when it comes to development and uh, you know like different programming languages and things like that, those are areas that I don't like. And quite frankly, if I can avoid those at all costs, I will. Um, I don't want to learn, you know, JavaScript, for instance, even though, you know, JavaScript is really widely used and uh, especially within the web and, you know, manipulating uh, different websites and services and things like that. But I don't want to learn JavaScript. I don't like programming. So if I can find the different areas within cybersecurity that fit what I'm most interested in, that's what I'm going to do. And networking has been something that I've always been interested in. So for me, it's like a no brainer. Like, yeah, I want to learn networking. I'm going to learn networking. It's going to apply to an area of cybersecurity that I want to be in. Now on this channel, you guys are going to hear me vlogging about many different things and talking about many different things. And I might find down the road that I have to learn something with JavaScript. I have to learn the basics of JavaScript. That's okay. If that's what it takes, like that's what I'll do. And we'll, we'll basically vlog that entire path as well. But we're going to talk about all the different jobs that exist within cybersecurity. And I talked before, you know, the areas that interest me the most are social engineering and training. And again, when I say training, it's, it's helping people. So whether I'm helping end users or I'm helping a business environment and I'm training some of their different security staff, um, their IT staff on how different security procedures and operations work, that's something that I'm really interested in doing. Um, with social engineering, you know, there's there's a lot involved there that really interests me at a level that, um, you know, sometimes I'm like, should I really be this excited about how social engineering works? Because it's it's a really bad thing, but it's really something that I want to help people with and help them understand better. So there are there are many aspects of of social engineering that. I really need to learn more about and and unfortunately for me i think a part of that is i'm going to have to learn some different programming languages along with that you know as far as um with social engineering you're getting sent across to different websites that could have malicious code on them um, getting sent emails with attachments that could have malicious code embedded within them you have to understand how some of that stuff works so for me i might actually have to understand how some of this code works now, I do want to avoid that at all costs, but I know that going down the path that I want to take, it's something that I might have to do. And it's just, 
it's something that I think I'm so interested in and passionate in that I'm going to just do it. So for me, for somebody who just despises programming and coding, like to know that, yeah, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to learn it. I'm okay with that. I can do it. Like you guys can do it too. Anybody can do it if you put your mind to it. And that sounds so cheesy and cliche and everything. And I've said that many times before about many different things, but it's so true. Like I want to give people the encouragement that they can do anything that they want. You know, if you want to get into cybersecurity, the whole point of this channel is to help you figure out the best path for you. It's to help give you the encouragement that you can do it. Because here's me who's been in this field for, who's been in IT for you know over 15 years, and now I'm just starting to try to get my foot in the door in cybersecurity. And here are the steps that I need to take to get myself in the door. Now, I'm sure I don't need to take some of these steps, right? I'm sure just because I have all the experience that I do, it could be much easier for me to get into a role in cybersecurity. But I know the best and most practical way for me to get a role in cybersecurity and be taken seriously is to follow some of the most recommended paths and get certifications and have proof that I know what I'm talking about. To have proof that um, I, I've gone through the Security Plus, the CEH, the Pentest Plus, um, maybe I'm going for the CISP one day, you know? Like these are the things that, you know, some of these potential uh, employers want to see. And the reason for that is, is because there's a lot of accountability that comes into play when you get into the cybersecurity field. There's a lot at stake. You know, if a employer is hiring you for their security team, there must be something of value within their environment that they want to protect, right? So having a good understanding of how you know, the different areas within security work and specifically the role that you're getting into, it's going to be very, very important um, to your path here. It's going to be very important to understand um, basically how, how uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of different things work um, within, within IT, within security, and the accountability comes into play because, you know, these businesses and employers are entrusting you that you are going to be able to protect them essentially, right? Now, we know that hackers and everything, malicious hackers, um, they do everything they can to get past everything that you're doing, but you need to make sure you're making your best effort and learning everything that you can to make sure that your best effort is your best effort. So for me, like I'm putting my best effort forward and getting certifications so that I can be of more value. That's what this is all about. And anybody can do this. And I want to give people that encouragement. So that's what this channel is really here for. So let me encourage you. Let me help you down this path. So that's all I got for today's video. And if you guys want to hear more, let me know. But for now, take it easy.